Welcome to Deep Thought. Don't dwell on negativity. Don't dwell on it. I'm going to tell you what. I talked about managing your attention. And, of course, I talked about how some people will just focus on negative things. How is that good for you? Anybody who does that, how is that good for you to focus on the negative? Like, no matter what's going on, you come up with some negative thing, you know? Somebody could be, you know what, somebody could get a new, you, you might have a neighbor or something, they get a nice new car, right? They get a nice new car, shiny, runs well, she might give you a ride in it. But then somebody's focusing on negativity, say, well, this could get stolen, you know? This could get in an accident, you know? What if uh, some uh, uh, breaks down in it? That's focusing on negativity. Now, it's the, hey, all of those things could happen, but what's the point of focusing on them? You know? Or they focus on all the negative stuff going on in society and everything. All the negative things. How does that help anybody? How does that help you? You know, that affects your energy. That brings you down. You know, you can't go anything. Shoot, you, I mean, it could get extreme in some uh, cases. Like somebody, I mean, uh, take a... Um, Agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is a, a fear of going out because you're afraid something can happen for you. Right? And I'm going to tell you what I experienced. I've seen that. Because for nearly 30 years, my mother, rest her spirit, had agoraphobia. And it, it was. And there was a period. Honestly, um, and I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this just to understand this is real. I remember in uh, last time, it was like I graduated high school. She was at the high school graduation. That was in 1983. She didn't go beyond the boundary of my house, the house she was in. She was living with my grandmother until 2002. So from 1983 to 2002, my own mother, because of agoraphobia, because of a fear what could happen out, didn't go out. Because she was focusing on all the negative stuff that could happen, and it affected her on that level. So I saw that right up in cl close and personal. I saw that personal, but she was dwelling on the negative stuff. That was one issue with it. And it can get to that point. And there's other stuff. When people have some fears... It, use, it comes from some negative event that happened and they dwell on it. They're afraid of what happened and stuff. And it affects, it's, it's a mental health thing. You know, it could affect your mental health. It can cause mental illness. You know, that's how deep it is. Look, you understand going through life, you want to know everything that's happening. Okay, that's normal. You want to know what's going on. Right? But for everything negative going on, there's something positive going on. For everything negative going on, there's something positive going on. You don't want to focus on the negative stuff. You want to know it exists? Yeah, you need to. You need to know it, especially if it's uh, close to you. You need to know, okay, there's a problem out here. But then the positive thing is, okay, what, uh, you can do something about it. You know, and everything, everything could be positive and negative. You, you can get in your car right now. I can get in my car right now and, you know, possibility I can get an accident. I can get an accident or, um, you know, something happens. Somebody scratched the car or something, right? Now, if I were to dwell on it at some point, I'd be afraid to get out with it. Or then when I'm out with the car, then I'll be nervous. Or... You know, I'll focus on the positivity. I'm getting where I'm going. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying the driving. You know, that's the thing. Now, you're still concerned about anything that could possibly happen. You're still concerned about accidents, maybe driving too fast, getting a thing. But then you focus on the positive thing and think, oh, okay, well, let me just be careful. Yeah, this could happen, but if I just need to be careful, I need to pay attention. I need to be in the moment. You know, I need to drive like a reasonable speed. You know, I need to obey the traffic signals. You know, you just do everything. That's a positive thing. And if you do, you usually win. But see, you got too many people. And I talked about how people give their attention to some too much negative stuff. 
too much paranoia, it increases it in them. They worry. And I'm just like, no, don't give your attention to that. Be aware of it. Yes, definitely be aware. Understand it. And, you know, you might even need to investigate it because of how close to home it is. Okay, that's all right. But then you focus on the positive aspects. It's like, oh, yeah, well, this happened. But other this is happening to other people. They either survived or a lot of people never even experienced it or whatever the whatever case is. You can focus on that and say, well, yeah, this can happen, but these are the solutions. This is how people got past it. But see, a lot of people don't do that. And, that, you know, that messes with your mental state. I'm going to tell you how deep that is, focusing on negativity, which can cause fear. That's actually a smart weapon. A certain amount of fear and anxiety actually lowers your IQ because you can't think freely. You're so focused on you can't see the bigger picture. You can't think as well. It can actually cause you physical pain and stress. Most problems are from stress. If you look at something like high blood pressure, that's a stress thing. You know, that's a stress thing. You know what I mean? Of course, you might have some people, they might have something, you know, biological or tendency or a genetic tendency to have it. But then it can, you can have a genetic tendency also to be able to jump three feet in the air and lift 400 pounds. Stuff still has to happen so it can happen. But if you focus in on that negative thing, you doing stuff that can make it come out. So you can't. So that, that hurts you. In fact, a lot of people, if you relax them, they're fine. They, they get better. Cause they ain't, but if you focus on the negative thing, oh, this could happen, this could. Shoot, your IQ drops. Your drive to do stuff, you can get either depression or anxiety, you know. So you you walking around a hot mess because you're dwelling on it. You got to let it go. It's like, okay, you want to be aware of it, but then as soon as you, like, maybe even encounter something negative, see it, made aware, it's like, okay, do what Ram does. Immediately, immediately think on how to... What can, what can solve this problem? What can do it? I'll use the example of this COVID-19 thing. When it first hit, it was like, oh, okay. All right. These people out here need to wash their hands because Rams ain't all about washing his hands anyway. Right? Ain't all about it. You know? Might need to be careful where you walk or how you follow people. You know? I was, you know, paying attention to say, okay, if you're not feeling well, chill out. You know, like you do for every other thing. If you know, if you feel like you got the flu, you don't go running out and all of that. And then, you know, even with this COVID-19 thing, you know, there's been plenty of deaths, but a lot more, significant amount more people who had it and survived it. So I, so I focused on that. You know, I don't dwell on it. Even with, even with this uh, recession now, and it's a recession, it's a recession, and it's going to affect everything. I'm thinking in terms of, okay, yeah, it's bad, it's bad, but I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm thinking, okay, how can I win in this environment? What's coming up? Because trust me, somebody's winning in this environment. Everything going on, somebody's winning. Somebody's making money or something. Because pff, stuff like this was already in the works anyway. But, dude, you know, you don't focus on that. You focus on the positive thing and say, okay, what can I do to keep money flowing? I haven't noticed a dip in my money. So I'm like, okay, I'm going and do my thing. Very key, very, very key to deal with, to understand. All right? You can't dwell on that negativity. Don't, under no circumstances. Let that joint go, you know? Let that joint go. You know, be aware of what can happen in the negative things. Be aware, but figure out how to beat it. And then when you see the stuff that's coming that's positive, focus on that because it will make you feel better, everything. So that's all I have for now. Think on what I said. Peace and blessings.